All right, we're gonna walk through getting Git set up so you can test it. We're gonna do it one little tiny step at a time to make certain you're good to go. First thing I'm gonna do is load up this particular website that's linked so that you are able to get to the actual walkthrough when you're going through it. If you feel really comfortable of following text alone and you think it's faster than walking through a video, feel free to do so. But if you ever need to see a particular section done through video so you can actually walk through and follow directly, come to the right video that you need to see. I'm gonna be walking through this checklist one at a time and making certain you're ready to go. The first part of the checklist, view this readme, you're looking at it right now, hopefully. The second part is gonna be creating a GitHub account. So that's what we're gonna focus on right now. So creating a GitHub account. Now, I already have a GitHub account, so I'm not gonna do it in fully, but I'm gonna walk you through the steps, of course. I'm gonna right click this, and I'm just gonna make mine open in a new incog window, but you could do that right on your regular browser. I just, I'm already logged in. And so here, if you do not already have a GitHub account, you're gonna click sign up on the top. Now my face is probably covering this sign up button. There should be a sign up button up there. And we're going to go ahead and say, hey, we're trying to get in and you're gonna enter your email address. So whatever your email address is going to be that you're gonna be using on GitHub. And so for example, I could use that email address and then I could create a password. And as I go through this, I could of course finish it off by going through any other processes going on. So make certain you have a GitHub account. You're gonna be logged into it probably all the time unless you are the type of person who wants to unlog out and log back in each time. But finish that off before you move on to the next step. 